All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. So a very quick video from myself today. Yeah, still trying to get into the swing of making videos. Sitting in this lonely, dark room, talking to myself, all by myself. <laughs> but there was a user on the Octane Render Facebook group, and he was essentially asking, how do you make a velvet material? Now, you're probably saying to yourself, you're making a lot of Octane content here, Stephen. What's going on? Yep, hopefully you're going to start to see a little bit more. There is reasons behind this, I'll maybe explain in a later video. And I'm going to start focusing on Blender 4.1. But anyway, back to the matter on hand. There is a feature with Octane Render, and it doesn't seem to get utilised, or it seems to get forgotten about quite a lot, and it's the Octane database. Now, the best way to describe it is a whole bunch of materials to quickly get you started. And it's an absolutely fantastic resource. But anyway, let's take a quick look. If we go to Window... You can see here we have the Octane database. If you can't find it, press F3, maybe spacebar in your case, and just quickly search for it and hit enter. And it'll bring up the Octane database. Now, the local database is things that generally you store. That's materials, stuff like this. Not as good as the asset browser, I'll be honest. Now, sometimes this window becomes unresponsive, and it's a horrible, horrible bug, and it's been reported. And the reason for this is this bad boy here, and it's the activation now what you need to do is you'll notice that this window now becomes unresponsive so if you just quickly close it down like this sometimes it'll take a few attempts it's a pain in the ass there we go it'll now work so if you're ever stuck thinking god damn this won't open that's the reason and i think it's a focusing issue with the gui but anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to quickly select the cube and you can see here we have a whole bunch of materials wood stone vegetation stuff like this skin the skin ones are excellent to look at there's a whole bunch, but if we go to non-organic, you can see here we have a whole bunch of cloths. We can go all the way down. We have some nice fabrics. That looks good, that looks good, blah, blah, blah. And there's velvet. Bingo. So all you need to do is right-click on it, go to import. And this is your material set up here. And it's applied to the model, so I'll just quickly jump into the render viewport. We'll bring up this a little bit better. We'll just quickly change the colour something like this and like i mentioned it's actually a very good way to see how the node setups work inside of octane and that's pretty much the video to be honest it's just a quick reminder that hey start utilizing some of these tools anyway do me a favor if you'd like to see more content in octane render let me know yeah, if there's anything else that you would like to see thinking about light linking next week but anyway do me a favor take care